this quickly. So we're gonna listen to So the room may not look messy, but you can't see a lot of the mess and I wanted to move some of the shelves around. So I do eventually switch out the place where like Sarah J Mass was. I move my like adult fantasy shelf into that place so that I can place some more of my recent favorites behind me so that you can see them in videos. I cannot uh, believe how many books I have. I was starting to count and then I lost count because I was uh, very ashamed. I do have some arcs that I need to figure out what to do with, but for now I've kept the majority of them. And also if anyone was wondering, I do not have any sort of system. Um, specifically, you'll see in the shelf tour portion that I try to group things by like genre, but besides that, there's really no, not much height order, there's not any color coordination, there's not anything in order by author's last name, so if that bothers you, I really apologize, but anyway, it's really nice to have my room organized and all of my books on the shelf, even though they probably won't last long because I'll get more books and then I don't know what to do with them. Oh look, Nigel destroyed his toy. I was really starting to question myself towards the end of this and this is why I don't reorganize my shelves often because it's very daunting and I did make, take some books off the shelf for an unhaul pile probably not as many as I should have but I did take off some so I do have some more space on my shelves but anytime I move anything around even if it's not the entire shelf I'm like why did I decide to do this but I did it it's done I'm glad I did. <laughs> Nigel, what's your favorite show? What's your favorite show? Okay, these are the shelves downstairs. They're mostly nonfiction. Some real plant life, some fake plant life, lots of candles, very important. Um, yeah, nope, haven't read any of those. Wait, I lied, I have read that one. And this is, what is this? From the ashes of... This is made from the ashes of Mount Etna here on Sicily. Cute, cute. Then look at this spreadsheet. I have two of these, but I split them up, these uh, bookends. And then more nonfiction. Some I've read, some I haven't. Read, haven't, haven't, read. Haven't, haven't, read. <laughs> more plantery. Is it real, is it fake? Who knows? My limited book of the month collection, I have not read those, but uh, I plan to. And that's it for books on here. We do have uh, some albums down here. New one to the collection. Ew, you can see me, <laughs> cause of the light. It's got the plastic on. Oh, it's still wrapped. He just received it today. Jermaine's new piece. And these shelves downstairs are from Ikea. They're the Hymnus line that I think are better than the Billy, but that's just my opinion, okay. And then on this side, that one was a lot of like, uh, books by black authors, a lot about like race, 
And these are different nonfiction. So some, you know, photos, whatever. Okay, look, when he proposed, this is in Florence, Italy. Okay, I just had to show that. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> other Frenchie, giraffe, very important. So yeah, these are just a mixture, like Russian, um, nonfiction. This is historical fiction, but it just fit down here. And then some on like deathish books, kind of more flower, floral arrangement, <laughs> flowery. <laughs> and then like my books for studying, more nonfiction, random books, a candle. That's it down here. I've been keeping, like I said, mostly nonfiction and I've been feeling inclined to continue to buy books to fill it up, but I still have two empty shelves down there and these are obviously not full. So I've got a lot of room to grow here, but I really do love these, um, love seeing them every day. But that's it for downstairs. Now I'll have to go upstairs. Huh, Nigel? You wanna go upstairs? Or are you gonna stay downstairs? Which one? Okay, bye. I thought I was recording this whole time and I wasn't. Okay, we're obviously upstairs. Here's my main shelf and my reading chair um, with some blankets. This was from the Alumacrate Nikolai box. And this, and then this is for Vicious. If y'all watched a previous video where Nigel tried to eat my giraffes. But yeah, this is my previous shelf, or this is my main shelf. Um, Andrew and a friend built it for me when we were still living in Washington. So I love this shelf so very much. On top, there are all my Funko boxes. If I take the Funko Pop out, I do keep the box. Um, when I was organizing, I was like, maybe I need to get rid of some of these. But at the moment, I still have them all and I have all the boxes. And I did recently move some stuff around. Those books were there, and those books were there, and those books were there, and those books were there. So anyway, I did move some stuff around. And so up top here, I've got some adult fantasy. I've obviously read the Faithful and the Fallen series. I've read Mistborn Era 1, and those two standalones. I still need to read Oathbringer that series that Elle loves. And obviously I have these, I read this one. So I'll be reading this one pretty soon. But uh, I got room to grow, kind of, upward, maybe. <laughs> and then down here we have on display my baby, Crooked Kingdom. And this is a Kaz Funko Pop. And I got two of these because there's character art in the back and I was like, oh, I'll take it out. And I never have, so I just have two of them. And then the dust jacket. Um, there's a poster on the other side of this one. Um, and I just have both of them, okay? And back in the day when Natalie at Alchemy and Ink used to make candles like this, oh my God, it was a rush to get these. I have like two of these Dirty Hands candles that I've never burned. And then I had the first edition, like the first copy in uh, of Shadow and Bone. I got rid of it because I liked these editions better. And then I also got this French edition when I went to Paris a few years ago and I love it and I want the other two but like I don't feel like justified because I don't love that series as much as Six of Crows but then I also got this French edition of Six of Crows. I'm sad it's the short one but I can't read French so it's fine. It's fine. And then back there is the short, short stories. I've never read them so I don't care to have it on display. And then here's Nikolai. Here he is, he deserved better. And then Lainey Taylor, I, did I ever get? I bought this edition because I read this one along with the audiobook because these are too pretty uh, to read. And then I still have not read Muse of Nightmares, but I'll get to it. And then down here is, uh, this is basically historical fiction. Some of these got messed up in the move, so they're kind of warped. And it's just like, I tried to put them in height order. I tried to put them by author and it just wasn't working. So they're just here. They're just here. Like, here's Caladusini, but then here's another one. Here's Kristen Hanna, but then here's another one. Like, they're just here. They're packed in. I've read a lot of these. Um, love, 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 love. Uh, let's see. Loved, um, loved. And then starting here, I have not read those yet. 
I am intimidated by this. I have started these, still haven't finished them, and then I need to read these as well. So I have read a good amount on this shelf here, and some of them, a lot of them I really love. But um, I haven't been in the mood for much historical fiction recently, so I do need to get back into it so I can pick up some of these. I don't even know if this is classified as historical fiction, but I put it here, or this, but I need to read this too, so. Ah, uh, the never ending life. I'm honestly like, do I still need this copy of the book thief? Like, I don't ever think I'm gonna reread it, but you know, that's not for me to think about today. We're gonna keep moving. Now down here, I know, I know, but um, regardless, I love the Illuminate Files. Like, I love the Illuminate Files. So they're still on my main shelf and I love this Aiden candle. Oh, it smells so good, but I can't burn it because she doesn't make it anymore. And then my beautiful UK copies of um, Skyward and Starside by Brandon Sanderson. I put them down here because they are YA and sci-fi and not adult fantasy. And so I've got some more sci-fi. This is mainly sci-fi right here. Um, still haven't read. Oh, I need to get to this. And I love Scythe and Thunderhead. The toll was okay. But yeah, this is basically sci-fi. The only reason I'm keeping that Red Rising copy is I got it in another one I got in Paris. I got it at Shakespeare and Co. and they put a stamp in it. Oh, am I lying? I'm not lying. Here it is. Look at that. But yeah, they put, where's the stamp? Oh my God, y'all. Did I get tricked? Where's the stamp? Holy shit, no, for real. I'm like, where's the stamp? I swear they stamped it. Did they only stamp? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I need it. I have to keep it. It's important. So I didn't love it, but I'm keeping it. But I did love Dark Matter, Dry, like I said, Siphon the Thunderhead. This is a really fun series that no one really talks about a YA sci-fi series about the multiverse concept. I still have not read this. This is Murderbot great one there and obviously I love these and these and I still need to read some of those but a little sci-fi and then down here is mostly like mystery thriller ooh, ooh, let me get down here so I read all of these loved this this really enjoyed this I like this but didn't love it this is like my ultimate favorite these first three I'm so sad the author passed because these are so amazing and I read this fourth one that another author took over and it's just not the same but some of these I've read such a good ending oh my god and some of these I have not read like I've read The Good Daughter but not The Kept Woman I've read this but not this I've read this I've read this I love Karen Slaughter a lot of the books I've read I read on ebook so these are just random ones that I would find at like Half Price Books or Goodwill my first manga I recently got, so I haven't read that yet. And then just some more random, like I've read all of those Julian Flynn books, Gone Girl is still my favorite. And I have not read Tana French or the Stephen King book, but yeah, just some mystery thriller books down yonder. And then if we get back up, so we pan out. So that was the first side of my shelf. And I obviously, if I stack them certain ways, I have room to grow, so it's fine. Then here in the middle, so for a long time, there was just this big space. And then we did add in the shelf afterwards once we got here so I could have more, another shelf. And obviously these beautiful editions, either these are the Juniper editions of the Chronicles of Narnia. I'm obsessed and I love them so much. And then I don't even know if she still makes stuff, but for a while there was a bookish shop and she was making these little carousels and I got one and I love it. And it has some of my favorite wood marks on it. There's Tormund Giant's Bane and that is, I don't know from where, an icon obviously. And then this one is from Chronicles of Narnia. Okay. Look, I used to be the candle queen, okay? Like obsessed. <laughs> I don't buy the bookish candles anymore, but I did. And I'm just gonna take time to rotate favorites right here. So I loved this. It's a YA thriller or a YA mystery, I'll say, um, by an indigenous author and it's so good and it's so beautiful. And then I love giraffes. So wherever I can put them, I'm gonna put them. 
And then obviously we have Sarah Janet. I have a mixed relationship with her. Behind these books are the Akatar books. Um, but I prefer Throne of Glass is a series that I'll always keep. I can't get rid of it because it did get me back into reading after years of not reading regularly. So I have those on display. And like I said, the other ones are hidden behind there. So they're, they're tucked in there, they're fine. This is a mix of like, I guess contemporary and like some romance. So I don't buy them any romance books because there's not many that I think I'm going to reread. But obviously one of my favorites this year, Sweet Hand, had to get a copy. I have all the Brown Sisters because I love them so much. A Diary of Blood was so good. Oh my God. Even though I don't think you would call that a romance, but I didn't know where else to put it. I love this. This is a historical fiction kind of with romance. Is it a ha it's this one. Oh, these are so good. If I have them, I love them. Like I don't buy books of romance that have romance in them if I don't love them. And then I read this a couple years ago and didn't love it. And I was just like, oh, I'm gonna reread it because maybe I'll have a different opinion and I never have. I read this book when I was really young and I wanted to reread it and I haven't. <laughs> I have mixed feelings on this series. I wanna reread it. I love this book. Obviously I love these. It's the only John Green book. Back here is The Fault in Our Stars. I really loved it. If I reread it, I probably wouldn't, but oh well. And I really loved Eliza and her monsters. And I do really love Dear Martin and The Hate You Give. I don't know if I would feel the same way about them if I reread them now, but you know, they're here. This is like, I guess my classics shelf. That's just a smattering. Again, I probably picked up most of these at used bookstores, but I got this really pretty edition of Anna Karenina and then I actually did read it. So I feel justified in my purchase. And this, I think this is an illustrated edition of Little Women that again, I know I found <laughs> at a used bookstore. This used to be Chelsea's. And yeah, it's got some illustrations in here. I haven't read Little Women in a while. I know I just remember not being totally happy with how it ended, but haven't read Pride and Prejudice. I know, I know. I loved To Kill a Mockingbird when I read it, haven't reread it. Some more that I haven't read read this in college and actually actually really enjoyed it. This is one of the few classics that I read in high school that I like. Don't ask me why. And then I love The Outsiders and yeah. So those are my random classics. I'm sorry if this is all twisted. My arm hurts. And then here we have Michael J. Sullivan and some lovely candles. This candle is like the best smelling candle ever. Thank you, Cody. And then I have these over here. So he has, I've only read one series, and that is the Ryria Revelations. And it's six books, but it's in three volumes. And then he put out a prequel series, and I think there's two more books that I don't have. I haven't read this one. Then he put out this series that's like thousands of years, thousands of years before, but in the same world that I haven't read these yet either, and I randomly have. This one I bought, which is the first book, and then I found these two paperbacks in the last two but I'm obviously gonna have to get the hard covers to match them all. And then he has a new series that I think is in the same world, but still like a while ago. And this is the first book that just came out. So I really need to get it together because I've only read these and I love them. But I know on his website, he did recommend you reading them in publication order. So these are published first, then this, then this, then this. So I need to get it together. But Hadrian and Royce, as you can tell, are the loves of my life and you should read this series. So this shelf again, just random stuff. I love this mug. I can't remember where I got it from, but it's just a lot of bookmarks that I usually don't use because I forget to take them downstairs. And then those were like Grisha inspired bookmarks and mug giraffe and some random pops that I didn't know what to do with. But Chucky is me. I am Chucky. Merida is my queen. And I mean, Groot. Do you have questions? Look at that Merida candle. Oh my God. Okay. So here again, random. These are the random books that Andrew owns or comics. He doesn't really read that much. So they're just really random. Here again, a mix of stuff. I've read The Giver, really liked it. This is such a good book. It's so old school and I wish there was more, but like Andrew threw away the freaking um, dust jacket and it's like out of print. You cannot find it, but it was really good. Haven't read, haven't read, haven't read. I was so disappointed in this book. Like everyone loved it. And I just thought I was okay. <sighs> and then I told myself I was going to read these books before watching the show. Have not, wa have not read the books, have not watched the show. It is very sad for me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then this series, I read The Thief years ago before I even knew it was a series and I need to reread it and read the other books in the series, but I haven't. What are you gonna do? And then over here, these, 
Um, I really like the Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare and I love these paperbacks, the spines. And then I really did like Lady Midnight. I didn't love the second one, Lord of Shadows. I mean, it was fine, but I didn't love it as much as Lady Midnight and I haven't finished the series. I need to read this. Uh, Master of Poisons sounds super good. And then I have a weird relationship with the Deathless. Like it's so weird, but I like it. Um, but I wish there was more Cochet, The Deathless in it. I don't know, I need to reread it one day. And then these are some, I didn't know where to put them, more titles that I need to read. Um, so they're just here for now. And then down here is kind of like, oh, I'm never gonna reread Twilight, but I keep them. Look at, I don't even have a dust jacket on this one. Like they're in terrible condition, but I'm just keeping them. I'm only keeping this because it was a gift and there's a note in it, even though I did not like this book. And then my random um, Karen Marie Moaning books, like this is my favorite of the ones I read. I read the first six in the Fever series and I loved one through five and I hated the sixth one. So I don't really feel motivated to continue. Mm, yeah. And just more random books here. I don't even know if I'm gonna continue Outlander, but every time I go to unhaul books, I just can't seem to get rid of them. So that's the bottom shelf. It's just you know okay so that was the center lots of color no no real organization i mean there are some things like obviously these are all michael j sullivan and i try to group things together but like in the shelf itself it's not even always by height or by color or by author so this may stress some people out but i just i just put them there <laughs> so up here we've got george in a place of prominence. I don't know why since he done me so dirty, but I do love these books. I still hold out hope that they that he will finish this series because I love it so much. Okay, I love it so much. Um, so obviously all of the books. And this was an illustrated edition of the first one. Maybe the second one. I found this special edition at a used bookstore in Las Vegas and it was like really expensive, but it was kind of on sale, so I got it. But yes, I love these pops. I love Tormund Giants Bane so much. I really love this one and my girl. So I need to get a Tyrion pop with him with a beard, but it'll do for now. So yeah, I love this shelf and I love this series and I just wish George would give me my last two books. Then I got middle gray. We've got my queen on display, Amari. If you have not read Amari in the night, bros, what are you doing? You need to read it. Um, I feel like everyone talks about Percy Jackson, but this is my favorite Uncle Rick that I have read thus far, which is the Kane Chronicles. Love them. Love Nevermore, need to continue. Got some more middle grade in here. Got some new ones that I recently received that I need to read. I don't know if the, his Dark Material is just technically middle grade or YA, but it's here. It just is here for right now. Also Root Magic, another great one. And this is technically YA also, but it fit, okay? They fit, they're here. Now, here is where a part of a shelf you usually see where I'm sitting, you usually see these two. And so now I move this because these are favorites. I've read almost all of these books. The only book on this shelf I have not read is The 100,000 Kingdoms, but I put it here because these are my other N.K. Jemison books. But love, love me some David Bod. If you didn't know, I really enjoyed Black Sun. I loved Ring Shout, I loved Addie LaRue, I loved the Fifth Season or the Broken Earth trilogy, love the Cerulean Sea, the Poppy War, the Sword of Kaigen. So like, oh my God, love, love, love. Can't wait to put more on there. I'm gonna have to figure out where to put Jade City and Jade War. Oh my God. I'll have to figure that out when they get here. More fantasy here, a smattering of things I have read and haven't. Obsessed with Vita Nostra, it is my life. This is another favorite series that I didn't put up here, but I really loved this um, but i am getting a special edition of them soonish so i'll have to figure out where to put those really love this i liked these and i haven't continued the series but i'm thinking about rereading them and then continuing and then i like, have read haven't read haven't read also it's the third book have read no yeah have read have read have not read the starless sea but this is a really pretty edition so it's just books, mostly fantasy. And down here are children's books. So I used to collect these because I was like, one day my kids will read these. And now I'm very much on the child free and loving it kind of thing. So I don't even know if I'll ever, <clears throat> if I'll ever have children. And I don't care because these are for me. I love them. 
I love these books. Um, I've read all of these at some point in my life and I the only ones I'm considering getting rid of would be like the Nancy Drew ones because I just have random ones of them. I don't even have them all in order. And then the series of unfortunate events because as I've been rereading through them, I haven't in a while. I just am like, eh, you know, but like when I reread The Little House on the Prairie and like Beverly Cleary books, like when I reread all this other stuff, they still like touch my soul and they make me happy. This is one of my favorite books growing up. Oh my God. And what made me become obsessed with Switzerland, this book, Bloom Ability. She's an American. She goes to this boarding school in Switzerland. Oh, it was formative if you, if you will. Oh my God, can we? I also freaking loved Shiloh, like emotions, okay? Emotions. And Ramona, Ramona Quimby, a queen, okay? She was relatable. I reread, oh my God. I reread one of these like last year and I was like, wow, Ramona's still relatable. Like, I love her. I love her so much. And I can acknowledge the problematic things in like Little House on the Prairie, but I still really love them and Babysitter's Club. So yeah, I may get rid of those, but right now I, I like this. And then why even stand up? Because here we are. This is the Target shelf that I have. It doesn't have much on it. Um, Obviously, well, these copies of Vengeful I got because I love Vicious and they're beautiful. And then I didn't, I didn't even finish. I didn't even finish Vengeful, but they're so pretty though. So there's that. And these are the other Jay Kristoff books. And like, I'm torn. I still really did love Never Night and God's Grave. I didn't love the Dark Dawn. Um, and he obviously is an ass hat. So they're over here. And then these books are the random like, other nonfiction books that I just realized aren't downstairs, but like I loved this and this. Um, I haven't read the subtle art. I haven't read this or this. And like I used to be buying like self-help books and they realized they're all the same. So I don't even know if I want to read these two, but mm, they're there for now. Um, and then these are some book sleeves for a while. I was really into buying those. <laughs> this is just all random bookish stuff. So like mug rugs and pin boards that I need to still put pins on and hang them up and I never do. And this is like leftover from when I did buy stuff for bookstagram photos, but I don't do that anymore. And then, well, right here, these are some of the pops I'm thinking of getting rid of. These are obviously Stranger Things, which I was obsessed with. I still really like the show and I'm gonna watch the next season, but I don't know if I need these pops anymore. I don't know I don't know we'll see and then the Tolkien shelf which I've only read The Hobbit and The Fellowship of the Ring but I've watched the movies a million times this wood mark is freaking gorgeous and these candles and I love these pops these pops aren't going anywhere but I may I don't know and then also these I have some of them from Orphan Black which is one of the greatest tv shows ever and from Sherlock um and then two characters from The Walking Dead but that's kind of it on this shelf after I like have gotten rid of some things, I just have this random shelf. And then my raggedy version of Chronicles of Narnia that I actually read and then a Wrinkle in Time quintet, which I am, no, I finally have them all. I'm not missing any. Um, I really love a Wrinkle in Time. I know it's not everybody's thing and I've enjoyed the other ones, not as much, but yeah, they're like a young, kooky, different sci-fi kind of book for kids, younger people. They're good, I like them, <laughs> but that, those are my shelves. Like, they are my pride and joy. I love them so much. I know they're not organized especially well, but they are what they are. And then this is my mess of a desk that I need to use more, but like, you see, it's cluttered with stuff. These are two books that I just got. I don't know what to do with, but it's cluttered with stuff. I don't have this on the floor because I will kick it and I do want a bigger desk, but the one I want is kind of pricey. So right now, this is a gaming computer. This is where I play The Sims. I've got pins and random things. Um, yes, this is Dumbledore. A friend made it for me, so I kept it and just random stuff that I don't know what to do with. Lots of mugs, lots of pins, and you don't wanna see inside these drawers, so you won't. And then Curtis, who I need to re repot, and all of my other bookish candles that aren't on the shelf. I have so many, oh my God. That's my library. Here's my, my shelves. 
and they're probably not gonna be stay clean this long, but at least um, I made them cute for y'all to see. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope if there was any really interesting looking books that you got to see it. I tried to show y'all the prettiest ones um, for the most part, I think. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing to the channel. Thank you to my patrons. Shout out to Bebe's Besties, Kayla, Jamie, Rainer, Danielle, Katie, Bobby, Jen, Kristen, Leo, Kate, Terry, Emily, Jesse, Janine, Sarah, Pepper, Shannon, Kirsten, Elisabetta, Amber, Celine, Heidi, Maria, and Serena, and the Nigel Lavandria stands, Brianna, Katrina, Maya, Rosie, Ava, Claire, Carrie, Tyrell, Demery, and Rainy. Thank you to friends of Bebe and Bebe's admirers. Thanks to everyone who watches and supports the channel. I hope you are staying blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreened, and we will see you in our next one. Bye!